Good morning, interwebs. It is 12-12, and that annoying sound you hear in the background is Steve's shop vac. He is defrosting and cleaning the freezer, which we had the issue with that I talked about before, where it kind of opened a little and melted partially during our trip. <clears throat> well, we were then able to just like close the door. <laughs> we took the problem stuff out and then we closed the door, but it obviously has a bunch of ice and stuff in it, and so he is handling that this morning, I guess. I don't know. He was doing it when I woke up. I've been up for about an hour. <clears throat> I took a shower, got around. Oh, I have my sweater on yet, but I will. I will in a minute. And I also haven't brushed my hair, but I I got to uh, talk to you. So today I decided that I needed to, like, do something. <laughs> like, I need to feel productive in some way. Um, and not like that I need to be doing stuff, but more like I need to do something to pull myself out of the hole that I'm living in. Um, which, it just, it is what it is. Um... So anyways, I <laughs> made a little a list of things to do. So what I did is I drew a like free form list and I used different colors for kind of like different areas of my life, you know, just because it seemed fun. So I just like wrote it all down and then I've been numbering things. My goal is to get two things off my list on every hour because there's like 36 things. No, 32, 36, something like that, things on the list. So I'm just working my way through because I figured maybe if I had like small motivating steps, I could just follow them today. I did not vlog yesterday. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm trying to be okay with that. I'm a little not okay with that, but I need to be okay with that. Um, so I've done daily vlogging, like, and like that was a big goal for me because I'm really bad at following through on things, which if you watch this, you might know that that I get excited about things and then life happens and then... I can't find the motivation to do them, and then, yeah, whatever. But I proved to myself that I could daily vlog every day for a well over a year. Um, but then I just stopped daily vlogging because life got in the way, and so I just didn't vlog at all. So I've proven that I can vlog every day. I've proven that I cannot vlog, which, when I was on my trip, um, when we went out to California for my mom's funeral, um, not vlogging was really kind of weird. Like, it wasn't weird in the fact of, like, I didn't really want to talk to anybody. I didn't really want to share the things that were going on. But, like, the day Steve and I were getting things together to get in the car, there were all these moments where I was like, oh, now is when we're supposed to pick up the camera and be like, hey, everybody, just packing up, or look at this stack of stuff, or whatever. And it was like, no, leave the camera alone. So, in fact, when I was on that trip, I made myself intentionally not vlog. So I've now proven I can, I've proven I can't, and now I'm trying to prove that I can do whatever is best on a given day for me that is right down the middle. So, like yesterday I had nothing, I had not talked to you, and it was like 2 in the morning. And I had no, like, positive, interesting, any sort of reflection about my day other than I had started my day with the intent to do things, and I had had that motivation, and then Steve didn't feel very good, and so he was like, hey, you want to just hang out? And so I did. And then, I don't know, all of a sudden it's four in the morning and I'm going to bed and I've, like, made things and I had an okay day, but, I don't know, kind of feel like a slug. So, today, I'm trying to be a little less sluggy. Some days slug, some days less slug. But, anyways, that is where I'm at today, trying to get some things I even accomplished. I feel like that sounds wrong. I just want to feel like I'm doing something productive with my life. It's frustrating, but you know. And I recognize that I am, and I don't need the validation that I am. It just, I don't know, my head. Not a pleasant place to live. Anyways, I'm going to go and find something else on my list that I should tackle. I think the next thing on my list was coffee. Because yes, I put coffee on my list three times. I put water on there four, so I figured. I figured water should be on there more than coffee, but I need to remind myself to drink the coffee. Because number one, I enjoy the ritual. I like the warm cup of the steaming stuff, and I like the taste, and it's just a thing I like doing. It is something that I do only for me. Like, I guess it benefits my family because it is better for everybody if I do it. But the real reason I do it is because it keeps me from getting headaches. Because yes, I am addicted to the caffeine. But I also just think that, like, clearly... I just read, because when I would be off of it, like when I would be pregnant and not drinking caffeine, because in the beginning of when I would be nursing too, like I wouldn't have anything with caffeine in it, and I would still get like low level headaches 
all the time. So, even when the caffeine was completely out of my system and I'd weaned off it, I think I just get like low level headaches regularly. And part of the way I manage that is by coffee, which I could take medication to manage that, but why not just drink coffee? It seems like a better, more natural medication to me. So, that is, that is my thoughts on coffee. I don't feel like it gives me like this great energy boost, but it does keep my headaches at bay. So, coffee on the list. I already had my first glass of water for the day, so. <sighs> We'll see. We'll see if this ball keeps rolling or if this ball is just going to like roll its way right into a chair and just stop. But I'm going to try, try and keep the ball rolling. Coffee. Well, it's 7.36. I figured I should update you on my progress on my day. I was just chugging along all morning, doing good. And then Steve uh, was ready to sit down. We ate lunch kind of late. And then we sat down for lunch, and then we started watching Deadliest Catch. And then I got super sleepy. So I took a nap. <laughs> My short little nap became a long nap. Which again, is not terrible. It just was kind of unplanned. You know, I was going to take a little nap. And it was funny because I sat down watching, or like laid down I guess, watching one podcast. And apparently YouTube started it on a playlist. So I woke up and I was like, oh... It's still playing that same. Wow, I feel like I've slept a lot longer. And then I realized it had played more than one episode. So, yeah. But I should have known. I find dramatic knits incredibly relaxing. And sometimes I will intentionally listen to it because I can go to sleep to it. So, that's what I get. Anyways, this morning I was working on this project, which is a new thing I started last night. Hi, Jezebel. When I was listening to the end of By the Book, yes. In two days, I binge listened to the entirety of By the Book, so there's more of it obviously coming out, but only once or twice a month, so this happens when I find new things I like listening to. I just listen, 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 and then they're like over, and that's sad. So, like I said, I was chugging along, getting things done. I have dinner in the oven right now. We're going to have pizza bread. I'm going to cut up some apples to go with it. That is all good. Oh, I ordered... Some Crocs was having a really good sale, so I ordered myself another pair of shoes like those, but in a different print. And uh, two of my three kids needed new Crocs for the summer because their feet keep growing. Silly kids. So, got those all ordered. Oh my gosh, cat. So I got those ordered, and now I'm just waiting for dinner to cook. I think I'm going to go and pick up a little on the kitchen table so that I can cross that off my list. And yeah, trying to work my way through the list. What well, seemed more uh, doable this morning, <laughs> right now, I just don't, I don't feel it. But I need to feel it. Feeling the list. Feeling the list. Checking in with you was on the list. So, see, I'm doing, I had a glass of water, talking to you. Now I'm going to go pick some things up. Just like the list told me. I just do what the list says, things will get done. Maybe. So I ordered some more yarn for uh, this shawl thing that I had worked on with the owls that I ran out of yarn for. I knew that it still existed as a yarn. It's Cascade something or other. I knew what it was when I ordered it. And I found it. I ended up getting it through Jimmy Bean Wool because it was going to be the cheapest shipping and stuff. So Anyways, I managed to only buy the one 50 gram ball of yarn, which turned out to be like $4.95, and then my $4 of shipping. And yes, I know, I broke some huge rule, and a bunch of you are going to be like, you should have bought more yarn, but I didn't need more yarn. And I thought that the yarn for that shawl was already going to cost me more than $5, so I'm very okay with spending eight, so I'm just pretending that the ball of yarn cost like eight something, and that's all right. <laughs> And I didn't need the other yarn, and I didn't need to spend the money. So I didn't. I know. You figure we don't need to, but I did not want to either. So I didn't. And that's all right. Okay, off to edit the podcast. Well, I think it's like 3.30 ish. I don't know. I don't know where my phone is. Anyways, it is late. I'm headed to bed here in just a few minutes. I did pretty good at doing the things on my list today. So like, I think the list was helpful. And the few things that I didn't do, I replaced with other things that were not on the list that were of like similar importance or whatever. So I don't know. I, I did some things today. So that was good. And I, and I drank water today. That was also good. 
we should all drink more water. It would be good for us. So, <sighs> okay, off to go to bed. I'm going to set my alarm for 10 because I have acupuncture tomorrow at 2 and we're going to go and run some errands and do some things in Manhattan before. So, rather than go by myself, the whole crew is going to come with me, which will be, will be a fun outing for us all. So, okay, I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.